Welcome guys to another new update from Animal Revolt. If you're new to my channel and you're seeing this for the first time, make sure you smash like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I do loads of ARBS content guys, make sure you stay on the channel to check that out and check all my previous content as well, there's loads of it. Anyway guys, update here for today, two new updates. We've got the Triceratops and Parasaur offers remastering, which is good news. Also more importantly below that, we're slowly nearing the end of the remastering phase, so you should see some updates containing new features and more importantly new units soon. If you check the store page out, you'll see there's a couple of weird looking monster units on on there. I'm guessing they might be fantasy units, who knows. Anyway, let's crack straight on and get in sandbox mode and try out these new units. Today it's going to be the Triceratops first. I'll be doing a follow-up video on the Parasaurol Office, so make sure you do follow me so you can check that one out too. Get that subscribe button smashed right now, guys. Do it. So let's get off the screen, get back onto a much nicer looking, uh, there we go. Get some grassy land out. Anyway, let's go on to the Herbie Voice and see what we've got here. So we've got, all oh, these guys have been upgraded a lot. Oh, Triceratops has gone from like $55 to $100, guys. As I said, I'm going to focus this video on Triceratops. I'll do another one for Parasaurol Office uh, after this one. So keep, make sure you smash that subscribe button and keep an eye out because it'll be coming soon, guys. Here we go. There are usually three skins. So this guy's got a massive, massive improvement. He's nearly doubled in value. If any of you guys have got this guy in the old ARB subscriber league, I think a couple of you might have. You've just stepped the game up massively. He's nearly doubled in price, man. So here we go, this is option number one, skin one here, skin number two here, looking very nice people, and skin number three here. I don't think these look quite as detailed as like some of the other new units, if I'm being honest. They don't look quite as sharp and crisp in their um, skin textures as some of the other ones have been recently. A definite improvement though, but most importantly, that value, $100, blimey, that's a big step up. So obviously, as usual in my updates, we ain't doing every unit versus every unit. I've made, I've gone on about how much I hate them already. If you want to watch them, there'll be plenty of other people doing them. You can choose from nearly every other YouTuber who does it. I ain't getting involved in that. So let's start off immediately. Let's try and make this a Terrazinosaurus, because let's be honest, briefly, briefly, previously even, these guys would have got wrecked by one. Now, let's see what they can do. I mean, he's going to probably still lose because he's he's got a disadvantage, like, or money monetary-wise, he's $10 cheaper. But, you know, we know it doesn't always prove to be the point. If you've seen my long, um, my long uh, uh, T-Rex and... Spino battles, where I did 100 rounds of that, you'll know it isn't always guaranteed that the uh, the cheaper unit's going to lose every single time. Maybe over a long, a large number of battles, maybe, but you know, it's not always guaranteed. So let's see what they can do. I'd like to think they're going to put a big, much bigger fight up. Let's be honest, $55. I never ever, I was never happy with that price. They always seemed massively undervalued and underperforming before. Hopefully, they've been given a much much needed boost now. $100 is, is good. They're back in the game with $100. They're now one of the more, the powerhouse units of the um, of the game again, I'd say. You've still lost to that dude, but I'll, I'll cut you some slack there. Probably an unfair one to put up against, but you know, price-wise, trying to give you something like for like. So what I was trying to do. Anyway, let's try against an Anki, because Anki's, I'm pretty sure Anki's have beat these previously. Anki, $70, is that how it's always been at? That looks like it's been changed as well, price-wise. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's hard to keep track of them. There's so many units now. It's impossible to keep track of them all. Ah, uh, the Anki's got no chance now. I wouldn't have thought. If he can get his horns locked straight in there. Ah, oh, the Anki's got no, no chance of getting on him. A few little slaps coming in, though. Oh, let's test these against, like, kind of equivalent-ish units, because it's good to see where their, where their strengths and weaknesses lie against units of kind of comparable values. So I tried to test these guys out, like, ideally, against units around their kind of price point to see which ones are better value for money. So, obviously, the Anki, to be fair, is like $30 cheaper, so really, the Anki shouldn't be getting close to the Triceratops. But, you know, these guys have got a good old, literally got a good sting in the tail of them when they do that little tail whip. What is he doing? And there we go. Is he down? I mean, he's not down, he's fallen over. What's he doing? Okay, so he's got a few balance issues there. Anki's got a couple of attacks in. Do you know what? I don't, I, oh, he, oh, he couldn't get one in there, he's completely wedged on him. Is he down? No. This is a long battle, guys. Is he, oh, he's not finished. Wow, he's launched him there with, a, with his um, with his spike spike flick maneuver. Whatever you want to call that one. I'm also worried, guys, that sometimes in these we don't always see all the new maneuvers we've got from the from the um, Triceratops. I might miss some because obviously this is gonna be quite a quick update. If I miss any of the maneuvers, by all means in the comments, let me know. Oh man, look, he's got him stuck on his horns. Oh, that's grim. Oh, he's dropped him now. Literally walked off with him on his horns. A dead Anki parading him around like some kind of like showboating. That's terrible, man. Yeah, I don't think they're quite as detailed as other new units. Do like them though, but it's not quite as sharp. They definitely are. Compare that to like the Ankylosaurus. Look, I mean, I don't think you can compare like for like. Look how much more detail there is in his in his uh, texture. I would say personally than the T and then the Triceratops. Still looking good though. Still looking good and clearly a bit better than they were before, without a doubt. But yeah, I can't believe they had a forty-five dollar increase. That's huge. Any of you guys? I said any of you guys have got them in the older. Arbs League, you are laughing all the way right now because you've got some a serious improvement. Do we dare let him take a Goron? 
probably an unfair one again. Let's let's let's, let's let two of them take a Goron. Two of these guys should should take one down, right? A hundred dollars a piece. Let's try two different skins as well. These guys should take down a Goro. One eighty versus two hundred. Can two Triceratops? Let's see. I'm intrigued to see how a Goro actually will act with them. Can the Goro launch him? All the spikes cause the will their um their horns kind of attack maneuver thing move thing. I know what I'm saying. Honestly, I do. I mean, you may want to not be jabbing your own Triceratops friend up the butt. That will probably help your att attempts to beat the Goro. I'm not feeling the Goro's going to lose when I'm being honest. I think the Goro's going to wreck these boys pretty quick. They seem to be a bit more sturdy before. I felt when they were $55, they were dying really quick. Like, really super quick. So at least now it looks like they actually got a bit more... They, they, they looks, I'd say, if nothing else, their HP has improved big time. It feels like... It feels like they can take a lot more than they could before, before they die, which is good, because like, they were just way too weak before. I was I was always a bit disappointed as to how they were as weak, how they drifted away, because at the start of this game when they came in, they were, I think the Triceratops were in since the very start, they were decent then, and they were pretty strong, but obviously there wasn't a lot to compare them against then. But they weren't too far off the T-Rex at that point, battle-wise, they still lost them, they were close. I mean, they've lost this one, I'm not surprised about, but they're definitely, definitely some improvements afoot here, without a doubt. Let's give them a go against a, a, a slightly fairy unit. How about a Stegosaurus? How about a 2v2 Stegosaurus battle? I mean, again... There's no, there's no real like for like, you, you know, hundred dollar units. What have you got? Rocky. You've got, uh, and you've got, you've got like a gore hammer's not really comparable. It's not really a fair one to use. The elephants are too cheap. It's hard here really to find a like for like one here. We'll try them against an Allosaurus in a minute. But let's start them off with the Stegosaurus here. Then we'll do Allosaurus next. Because Stegosaurus are 80 and so are Allosaurus. So we'll see how they do against these guys. I mean, to be fair, I'd imagine they're going to kick the butts of the Stegosaurus, if I'm being honest. I don't think there's going to be any doubt. The Stegosaurus don't appear to be getting much of a attack going right now. Again, I think Stegosaurus is again. Their, de their, their skins look already kind of shiny and crisp and stuff. And I don't, I'm, not, I'm not quite feeling it to the same level with the old Triceratops. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. As long as they're performing better. I think you guys would probably prefer they were performing better and actually putting on more of a fight than looking pristine. Ah, oh, one's gone. This, these guys are going to get wrecked pretty sharpish. Never been a fan of the Stegosauruses, to be fair. I don't think they're the greatest. They're the greatest, are they? Wouldn't be in my team for anything anyway. Oh, he's got stuck on his horn again, man. Ugh. Right. As promised, we're now going to go and try him out against the Allosaurus. Again, I would imagine they're going to comfortably win this one. We'll try him out in some bigger battles as well in a minute, guys. Don't forget, as I said, guys, make sure you smash subscribe, like, and leave me a comment as well. Always nice to hear from you guys. You know I respond to every comment you leave me. But yeah, come and sign up. Join the tribe and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. I do tons of ARB stuff. Tons and tons of ARB's videos. Probably at least to a week minimum with my ARB subscriber league, plus anything on top of that. So if you subscribe for this content alone, you'll be getting at least two videos a week minimum from me for a long while yet. At least another four or five months to a week minimum, at least, with the ARB, with the subscriber league. And that's not even including all these updates and whatever else. I also stream it sometimes as well, guys. So, you know, I do weekly Friday streams, which isn't always ARBs, but it is sometimes. So if you like streams and stuff as well, yeah, hit subscribe and sign up for that as well. Also, come and join Discord, guys. Come and join my Discord. We've got loads of people in there. A lot of people in there are ARBs fans as well. Come and discuss dinosaurs and what your favourite units are and stuff with the guys in there as well. These guys have finished off as well. They've made light work. You find each other. They've got stuck together. He's got... What are you doing? Looks like they decided to fight each other because the competition just can't handle them today at all, apparently. That's what I've heard anyway. Right. Should we up the, up the scale now? Let's up the scale and get a bigger battle going because, you know... We can do small battles, but bigger battles don't always end up with the same results as we found before when we've done these tests. So let's get a load of Triceratops down. How about you 20 of them? I'll I mean, inner lines are a bit unnecessary, but whatever. It's fine. Right, and how about we do 10 of these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we do... Uh, let's do some of these. Let's do... Let's just do some of these. Let's do 10 of these. I think, personally, the Ankylosaurus and uh, combinations will win this one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, eighteen hundred takes on two thousand. Pretty close. That'll do. It's twenty versus twenty. Most importantly, let's see how they go here. So we know for a fact that the um, Pterodinosaurus have got an advantage on them. I think this might be. I think this might be a difficult one for them. I think the Ankylosaurus have got, got quite a lot of damage in before, and that combined with the old Pterodinosaurus might mean this is quite a close battle. I mean, we're going to find out shortly. But I think this might be a might be a close little one, personally. Who knows? We're going to find out very shortly, though. No one's actually died yet at all, man. We've got some tough old units here. No one's died at all. Uh, I, see a tri I see a Triceratops down in the middle now. We've got we lost the first of the Triceratops team are down. I still see no one down for the Ankies or the... Uh... Oh, no, I do. Terrazinosaurus is down in the middle now. 
And another one. This is pretty even, man. This is a pretty even battle so far. We've got a lot of Triceratops over there on one Anki, so he'll get finished off pretty quickly. A couple of 1v1s over here. We've got a mate, a load in the middle there. I cannot see... Very... The Terrazinosaurus is in a group battle. I've been as a wrecked look. So maybe, maybe... The... Not that you'd really call them. I wouldn't have thought you'd really call a Triceratops a pack animal, would you? But in a pack in this game, at least, they're destroying them, look. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. So I can only assume that their horn actually is incredibly damaging. But... Obviously, they can't always make make contact. I say now we've got a, the last little group. Let's bomb over here quickly. To be fair, most of the remaining units for this team are oh, and now the the two the last few is what's it six six v six six v six it's six v six. Wow, actually it's, it's even now again. After all that, we've now got four Ankies and two Terries versus six ter Triceratops. It actually, surprisingly, it's all even back out again. I thought it looked like the Triceratops were dominating this one. Now I'm not so sure. Oh, Triceratops was one down. We've got the, the Terries are down as well though. What have we got left here? Is it four? Three V three? Oh, Triceratops are outnumbered now. They had the numbers on their side. Oh, he's been wrecked there by the Anki. And now it's two V four. And I think now maybe it is I was right, and it is gonna be the Terrazinosaurus and the Ankylosaurus who come good. Yeah, they are. Wow. This one turned round. I missed the group of the Terries and Ankies over the side. This one's finished as expected, to be fair. Oh. This Triceratops is putting up a good fight, considering he's got so many people around him. This dude, man, what? he's like, what's up with his legs? I know he's gone. He looked like he couldn't walk then. To be fair, he took quite a lot on single-handedly there. Left with two Ankies. That was a decent battle. Right, let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. And we're going to make these boys take on... Why not? Let's take, them, take on the T-Rex. Let's take finish with a with a big battle against Mr. Rexy himself, shall we? So, 165. We'll do, do the comparable amount. Uh, well, we've got $2,000. We'll get the comparable amount of these to match the prices. There we go, 1980. So it's 12 versus 20. So this one will be more interesting now. Let's see how this one goes. It's a quite a big numerical advantage. 12 versus 20 is a big numerical advantage. But, but, will they come out, will they come out on top and win it? That's the question. We know how ruthless and how strong the uh, T-Rexes are, both in their biting power, their finishing, well, not finishing, but their moves they've got in general now. And also they've got a lot more, they've got a lot more health as well now. I'll be intrigued to see. I think the T-Rexes will probably demolish him, even, even even with the lower numbers. Looking at how this is going already, it looks that way. But we know once we've... We've had this before, though, and then suddenly you lose a T-Rex or two, and it can all turn around. Well, this looks like this is a demolition job right now. Wow, they are destroying them. I didn't think it was going to be quite this one-sided. Are we going to even see a T-Rex die? Not one T-Rex has died, guys. I mean, this does surprise me a little bit. Oh, my word. It's literally an absolute mauling. Jeez. This is not expected. Not one T-Rex has died in the making of this bar. Oh, we've got one. You've ruined it, man. You've ruined it. Oh, well. One died. Oh, well. Anyway, guys, here's your little test run of the Triceratops. If you enjoyed it, as I said, make sure you smash like. Hit subscribe and the notification bell to keep up to date with all my future videos on both ARBs and other games. And, yeah, until next time, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. Cheers all. Bye.